But now to a crucial match for the Deep Hammer Uranium Mine, a base defense battlefield famous for its impenetrable shields. Fancy technology, but they don't power themselves, do they? No. Taking three of the mine's control points means no shield for your opponent, and no shield means no win. Of course, in early play, all eyes were on Liberation Front superstar Zhenya. Including mine. He's a world-class talent with a wickedly offensive loadout. Well, we saw that from the start, as he led the Lib Front push for two early control points. As for the Shadow Revolution, they were absolutely annihilated. Hello, Flamethrower. Thanks for playing. Yes. A strong statement in a match that could swing world balance in favour of the Liberation Front. But now to live action. And make it three control points for Zhenya's side. Down comes the Shadow Rev shield. Worse, their armor's making straight for the Lib Front column, oblivious of the Cyclops on the ridge. Right. Pasty has done brilliantly. Completely untouchable up there. Liquefied. Shadow Rev Ravagers are setting up to return the favour. No, no! They're good as dead! This screams infantry ambush! Here we go! Nice and messy! That Ravager's being ravaged! Where are the other Shadow Rev commanders? I bet my service medal they're playing it faint and nook. You may be onto it. Control points one and three have just gone contested. Multiple companies uncloaking behind lib front lines. These are Vipers that control one and three with only Titans to beat. And they've done it. Lib front shield is down. Now Shadow Rev's pushing for a super weapon relay. It's Genya against Cyber, another top ten player. The next minute is absolutely key. Oh! Orbital laser! Fantastic! Genya down! Cyber has captured the relay. The Shadow Rev's flooding into the lib front base. There's no stopping this party! Nuke! What an unbelievable comeback, ladies and gentlemen. This could be the nuke of the century. The battle that gives the Shadow Rev...